in the shop today, we have a 1999 Dodge Ram 2500 truck. It has a 5.9 liter diesel engine in it with about 126,000 miles. The owner is complaining about a reoccurring check engine light with a code PO122. It's important to note that the owner says that the engine will hesitate at times. Our first step in this diagnosis is to verify the PO122 trouble code. This code means the throttle position sensor signal voltage is low. You may also hear of throttle position sensors, or TPSs, referred to as accelerator pedal position sensors, or APPS. The TPS or APPS on this vehicle can be checked with a scan tool, lab scope, or voltmeter. We're opting to use a voltmeter today. First unbolt the TPS bracket from the engine and lay it on its side in order to show where to back probe. We are using a very handy acupuncture back probe for this testing. Back probe pin 3 on this TPS harness. Either use the auto range or turn your voltmeter to the 20 volt scale. Slowly step on the accelerator and the voltage should climb. When the values continue to climb and then drop off like this, the TPS is defective and needs to be replaced. As you can see, we found the cause for the PO122 code. We are replacing this defective OE sensor with one that has a totally new design with state-of-the-art technology built in. It will never fail like the original did. In fact, let's talk with Dallas Kissinger. He's the engineer from Wells Vehicle Electronics behind this new braking improvement. Dallas, take it away. The original equipment sensor uses contacting technology. Uh, cont contacting technology is essentially a set of contact fingers and a resistor printed on a circuit board. Uh, as you depress the accelerator pedal, the contact fingers move across the resistor. Uh, as it moves along, the resistor value changes, uh, giving us a different voltage. Uh, different voltage that the engine computer will then see. As these sensors have um, high wear areas along the resistor contact finger path. Uh, these sensors are designed to last a million, two million cycles. In a life of a vehicle, that's maybe a life, not quite. And in some of these areas, the uh, usage, the wear is a lot greater than others. For instance, cruising down the highway you're going to stay in a small range for most of the time, for hours at a time. Uh, these areas will then wear a lot sooner. Uh, eventually the resistor will wear through and you will have an open circuit uh, creating problems for your engine computer. Another problem is this sensor is designed for a diesel application. Uh, diesels are just in general a higher vibration environment. Well, we went ahead and just eliminated all electrical wear. Uh, we used a newer technology um, non-contacting technology which incorporates a magnet and a, an IC uh, essentially a Hall effect IC now the job of the Hall effect IC is to measure the magnetic field of this magnet uh, the magnet is essentially attached to your accelerator pedal now as you depress your pedal the magnet rotates and as the magnet rotates the magnetic field is changing now the Hall Effect IC, positioned right above the magnet, uh, picks up on those changes, conditions that magnetic field into an analog output, and sends it out to the uh, engine computer. The uh, sensor is programmed to match the OE exactly, and even better than OE. So there's a slight calibration procedure, which we'll show you right now. Thanks for your insight, Dallas. As Dallas was saying, there is a calibration procedure when installing this TPS. This procedure is made easier during the removal process by first marking the position of the defective sensor. Remove the two mounting bolts and install the new, improved design sensor as close to the original position as possible by following your outline marks, but do not tighten the bolts just yet. Back probe the number three pin on the harness again and read the voltage with the key in the on position. 
if you followed your marks, the voltage reading should be pretty close to the 0.5 or 0.6 specification. Bring it into spec, carefully turn the TPS. Once you're in spec, snug the TPS torque screws down and turn the ignition key to off. Install the bracket and connect the wire harness clip at the bottom. Before starting the engine, turn the ignition switch on again and slowly push the accelerator to the floor and back. Only do this one time. This step will ensure the ECM has learned the TPS calibration. If you miss this step, a diagnostic trouble code may be set. Clear all trouble codes and road test. That's it. See you again next time in the Wells Garage.